Alrighty, boys. We got a uh, barrack review for Giant. Um, I'm garbage at barrack, and I don't know how to play him now. So take everything I'd say with a grain of salt. All right. Now that all that's out of the way, you're playing with the Andy Cat, and he's playing Genos. What the fuck, man? Why? Alright, got double time. Uh, that seems a little odd, not gonna lie. Okay, that seems legit. Um, field deploy. I have seen people running this. I don't know how good it is. It seems decent, I think. Fail safe 3. Alright, I don't know about your loadout, but uh, seems pretty decent. Um, I like an Alim on CDRS filler. Unfortunate. Um, I think you should have backed up earlier there. Um, especially when you have a Genos healer, I think you. I, I think Barrick, uh, benefits a lot. Um, like Barrick has more value playing passively than a lot of other tanks do. So like you didn't have to just stay in the open and run around. I mean, and yeah, scoot around on your rocket boots or whatever. Okay, this is fine. You haven't cleaned up yet. Jonas can really be on point. I don't know why he's super far up on right though. Okay, he's dead. Yes. Oh yeah, and uh, I usually see a more turret focus loadout it's on Architect Honix, which is what you're running. Yeah, um, a lot of like shit like uh, turret health, because um, what I found is that the turrets actually do a lot of damage. Uh, and and putting and taking the trouble to keep them alive, or having the uh, turret heal card, uh, the 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 turrets heal you card, can really pay off. I think that's just my like outside non barrack player perspective. Um, I don't know why you wanted to squeeze yourself in there, but okay, sure, that's fine. We should let Genos be pushing here. Genos isn't very good at, um, what's it called? <laughs> zoning. Yeah, zoning. And now you're just like kind of staring at the cart. That Genos push, dude. <laughs> um, you don't want to stack with Khan on either a high, uh, high or low ground. Um, <coughs> BK benefits from high ground, so you definitely. Why is he on low ground, dude? So you want a tank to play with him. Um. Oh, Khan's up there now. Okay, that's good. But yeah, basically don't don't uh basically uh don't have both your tanks stand in the same place. And if and if he doesn't like like it's good for you to be on low ground. Um because you know you have more survivability than Khan. But if Khan doesn't go up there, whatever, you can go up there, it's fine. There's an Anara behind you. Alright, good. Clean up. You should go high ground here. You should just like walk up to them. Being on low ground gives you zero benefit. Are they just gonna let you push it in? You can ult here. Yeah, okay. Well, I lied, you couldn't. <laughs> well, yeah, that is unfortunate. Um, If you were gonna ult, maybe ult earlier. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect you to get multi that fast either. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate it happens. Okay, you have Cauterize, you have Rejuve. I don't think Rejuve is very value anymore, especially with the Genesis Healer. Uh, cause it gives you like, what? <laughs> like 2 HP more than second, more per second. Yeah, it's like literally that much. Maybe like 5 HP or something, I don't know. But the point is that you, you just spent 450 credits on an item that has very little value. Like it would benefit a lot more from um, Haven right now. Also, yeah, you, you were peaking too early. Like I said, um... Uh... What did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just like, so lost right now. Dude! Shut up! 
Okay. Yeah, anyway. Oh yeah, uh, Barrack can play passively. And like, and still have an impact because he just has his turrets, which do a lot of damage safely now. Or that's what I think, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, you should have, <clears throat> you shouldn't have, like, tried to aggro there. And you tried to touch and you died, that's fine. Um, you don't have your ult. That kind of sucks, but yeah. Um, touching can drag out the time for the enemy or you to build up ults. So, if you don't have your ult, and they do. So if you don't have your ults, and they do. Then obviously you want to stall it out. And that's what you did, so that's good. Uh, again, Ryushu isn't really that value in my opinion. Like in terms of pure numbers, it's just not helpful. And it's better not to take damage in the first place than to try to heal through damage taken anyways. Okay, yeah, see so you're playing pretty passively here. Um... So yeah, this is fine. You're contesting point, you're doing damage. But see, as soon as you go out, you just kind of die. Um, like, gen, gen, um... Bear, uh... You, you got it, you, you should play more passive, yeah. Basically. Rezil? I don't know about Rezil. Um... I, I don't really know what that's for. If you're just getting, like, slowed by Dinara or what. But I feel like you're not getting affected by CC damage. Chase it, chase it, chase it. Um, yeah. Um, you play very point tanky, in that here you kind of just focus way too much on the point. You know. Um, again, you have a Genesis healer. Uh, Barrack does pretty good damage. Uh, you you can you can chase down those kills like Furia there. Uh, I don't know if you saw BK chasing her. But but you you really should have gone after her because it's a big pick that that you got right there, and and standing on the point for like two for like a second longer stop them from capping like three percent does does that doesn't do anything. Hmm, I really think you'd benefit a lot more from turrets healing you. It looks like. Because you, you don't want to stack all your utility on one ability, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you don't want a bowling ball just so you can heal. You want a bowling ball so you can shield damage. And, and since you have Architectonics, you have more turrets, you're placing them more often, you're focusing more on them. Like, why, why not just have them heal you too, you know? So yeah, um, I, I don't think you're much getting that much benefit from your loadout there. I think Master Writing is extremely good, especially on maps like Stonekeep. Since you're Barrack, you just get to the point fast, you set up, all is well. More value than Rezal, I'd say. I don't really know what CC you're getting hit by. And almost certainly more value than Rezil. I mean, not Rezil, Reju. Again, I think DR would be more value. Like, literally their entire team except Ash is just direct damage. To so just pick up some Haven, boom. It's just better Reju. Andy Cat, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> I've actually never seen him play Genos. Does he always play Genos like that? Cause that's that's yikes. Okay, this is good. He's only them out of high ground. Um, you didn't have to drop there, I think. Oh, okay. They're just gonna let you push it through. All right then. But yeah, you have BK and um, Talus down there. Those are both very high damage champs. Just let them, uh, yeah. Just let them uh, clean up an aura. That that's something that you really have to decide for yourself, like which fights your teams can take and which fights that they need your help in. And in that particular one, I think that um, 
they didn't need your help. But, <clears throat> you know, whatever, you pushed it through. All is well. Alt, alt. Okay, that's cool too. I mean, it, it's actually good that she did, did that because Victor ulted. Okay, this is cool. Your team cleaned up. You survived on point. New, and you did a lot of damage to Anara. That's cool. Tell me that hit. Oof. Oh, nice though. Good clean up. Anara's on point. That con ult was too hasty, I think. He did it right in the open. Whatever, it's not a con review. Ult. Okay. Con is on point. Look at that, dude. Holy shit. He's squishy as hell. <laughs> Place your turret, dude. What are you doing? Now just hold your cooldowns. That was, a that was too early. That was too early. You should have waited for overtime. Overtime ult. Oh, that, that's very good. Yeah, I don't know why Tiger didn't just shoot you. Because I'm like almost completely sure Tiger can just straight up dual bear it. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate there. Um, yeah, T Tiger just wrecks you. Um, now you probably won't have overtime. Oh, you will? Okay, that's cool. But yeah, Khan got picked off way too much there. That, that one wasn't on you. I think you should have gone on point at like the last possible second if possible, since you were alive right next to it. Unfortunate. You do what you can. You do what you can. Rezil two and master writing one. I I really don't know what you're picking Rezil for. To be to be completely honest, maybe Tiger slow. Yeah, I can't I can't really tell if it's slow or not because I can't see the the debuff thing at the top of the screen. Yeah, bowling ball. Back off, back off. No, dude, you got back off. You got back off or die. Oh yeah, yeah, bowling ball reset. Big brain. Alright, that was a good retreat. Um, I think you should have retreated a bit earlier. But whatever. You got out. If they, if they hard focused you there and like anyone other than Ash shot you, you would have been dead. Okay, excellent stuff. On that Ash bash. Khan needs to go high ground, dude. Why is he just hanging out on low ground? Dude, don't let BK play alone, man! <laughs> Yeah, if, I mean, yeah, it, it kind of sucks when your when your off tank just doesn't really do what he needs to do. Okay, master writing too good. I think a damage reduction item would have been much much better than Riju here, especially since you're reaching the credit cap. Okay, I got out, this is cool. Um, we're shooting Anara here because she's way too far in, that's cool. I think he still wants to be passive and poke here. Yeah. Oh! Insane barrack, dude. <laughs> yeah, if I were you there, I would have just stayed back and poked, though. I don't know how he didn't get melted, to be honest. You're too far up here. You have a Genus healer, he can't really sustain you. If you, if you need to back off. Oh no, you have bowling ball. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Um. Well, you're doing a really good job of utilizing that. But again, like your barrack, you kind of just stand in one place and like sit next to your turrets. Turret heal would be more helpful. Okay, this is good. Let's clean up one point. Place your turret. There's no reason not to. That's cool. Excellent. Back off. 
Alright. Okay. Cool. Master Riding 3, that's cool. Or Nara also picked up Master Riding and Rejuve. I mean, not Rejuve. Rezo. Oh no, but you have BK Con. Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. Get the point quick. Place a turret. Cool. Mm. You could shield a bit later. Unfortunate. Okay, well, your whole backline just got destroyed. Uh, so yeah, I'd say that one wasn't really on you. You kind of have to contest, otherwise an just gets free cap. How you do what you can. Shoot pick, shoot pick. Okay. And touch. Too early, too early. On that ult. Your, your, your ult's like a 20,000 HP shield. You set the clean cut, rotate it with your with your uh, regular shield. Don't just don't just go down and immediately place it. Like, as good pressure in that the flamethrower turret actually does a lot more damage than you'd expect. But, but yeah, it, it's it's really more of a way to save yourself than anything else. I definitely say, or save a teammate. You get the idea. Yeah, just just contest. Do what you can. Stall. Okay. Unfortunate. Come on, Khan. We can do it. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think I don't think either I don't think uh, that point loss was on you. You're contesting an RF line and you didn't get picked off too early or anything. Okay, you were back. You we're shooting Ash on the point. I'd say you were a bit too far in here. Yeah, you're taking a lot of damage. Shadows! Dude, you do be fragging though, question mark? Damage dealt. 51k. Okay, that's actually a lot for this. Excellent chase there. I'd love to see that more from you, by the way. <laughs> like look, you're doing you're doing a lot of damage. You're doing more damage than BK. Oh yeah, a little too aggro there. You don't want to just stand in the faces of four people by yourself. It's okay. Got out. You're clicking on people. Because down, Talus is on. Back off. Good. I'm ready for the con hard stagger, boys. Okay, Frank, uh, about your turret placement, uh, I don't actually know how to place them, though. I used to just place them in, like, a little corner, where no one would shoot them, so that I could just get the heal from them. But since they do a lot of damage, I suppose you want to place them in the open. Uh, I'm just mentioning that, because, uh, yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. Uh, ask Quibbly, maybe. Or maybe I'll ask her. Maybe we do the squad review later. But yeah, um, I'm just saying that so you don't think I've totally forgotten about your charts. Yeah, see, you've maxed all items. That's another problem, actually. 
You just straight up max all items and have nothing to buy. <laughs> like, at this point, you can still be stacking Haven and still getting value. Uh, I really don't like the Rejuke pick. I'm not gonna lie. But oh well, it's whatever. Old habits are hard to break. Okay, cool. I don't really think that was necessary, but... Alright, nice. Holy shit dude, their Fury has done like 108k damage. Big frags. Ick. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, you could go uh, high ground. Keep. Whatever. Oh no, just kidding, your whole team is going church. Okay. But yeah, this is fine too. Um, I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that one. I, I don't know how to pause, but... But you ulted when your team was already cleaning up. When you were already committing ults to a team fight that was basically won, and all that was left is staggering and cleaning up. And you ulted to do what? That that was that seemed overly hasty. Um, now you have literally zero ults for, for zoning. And I don't know which ones they've used, but they can probably take it back with ults. Like getting a getting like a get out of jail card. It's very important for Barrick, I think. Okay, it doesn't matter because your team's fragging apparently. All right. Uh. So yeah, overall, I don't have any major complaints. Um, you stand on point, and you shoot people, and you mostly don't die. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing really more I can say to that. Um, your loadout and item pickups were a little weird though. That's my main concern, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Um, I guess I'll review it with Quibbly later. And she'll give you better tips than me, because I suck at Barrick. But yeah, GG's.